In this session, we will look at creating invoices. It is important to create the invoice for our customers and our students in order to record their debt. To create an invoice, we go to sales and then tax invoice. This will show us a list of all our invoices showing by invoice date, the due date, the status of the invoice, whether it's paid, unpaid, or partially paid, the invoice reference and the invoice number, the name of the student or the customer, which is under company, and then the total amount for the invoice, for example, this one, it has been partially paid. So we can see that the total amount was 5,000, and then we have a balance of 2,800, which still has to be paid. So to create a new invoice, we just click create, and then you add in the company, which is your customer or your student. I will put in my own name, and I'll start by the surname. You automatically get the net, ter net 30 term, but I will select the beginning of the year until the end of the year, because I'm going to invoice my student for school fees. Okay, and then I'll click add. To add now the item that we recently created for our invoice. This learner is in grade R, so I will create school fees for grade R. As you can see, the line was filled in automatically. The next step, I will go to addresses, just to double check if the, the guardian has been selected for this invoice to be built. And that's it, I will post. If I want to print this invoice, I'll just click on print and then tax invoice. It will allow me to print my invoice. If I want to save this invoice, I will do it from the same screen, print, tax invoice, and then I'll click, click on these three dots, file, save as. So I will save on desktop, so it's much easier for me to find, and I'll save it as PDF, tax invoice, Nevit as an example, and I'll save. So if you go into your desktop, I'm not sure it will be seen, but if you go into your desktop, it will be under tax invoice Nevit. If you want to email this invoice, you can just click email and then because this uh, guardian has an email address, it will automatically be filled in and then you write the body of your message normally. And that's it for creating our invoice and emailing and printing and saving.